good morning. I hope uh, I get some people in. It's early in the morning. <laughs> well, for some, I've been up for quite a while, actually. So I hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, it's rainy here in Virginia. Goodness knows it is just rainy and cool out. So, uh, I hope everyone's got better weather than me. It is really chilly. But, hey, Amy T. It's uh, rainy and cool here, let me tell you. We got a nice fire in the wood stove, though. So, ugh. Um, I don't know if I left my blanket in here. Nope. I left my blanket in the other room. Um, I should have brought it in here to show you. I have made it, um, I've already done the first round of cables on the blanket on the hill. Um, I'm really proud of that. It was really funny. When I read the directions on doing the cable, I got confused and I had to go watch the tutorial. <laughs> and then when I watched the tutorial, I was like, oh, these are so simple. So I will be referring to the tutorial when I'm doing stuff. Because sometimes the cables get confusing um, when you read the directions. But it was really funny when I was doing that. So I love the blanket. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to it. Good morning, Laura. Um, I hope you're having good weather better than me. Good morning, Amy. It's good to see you. Um I don't know, I just felt like one live this morning. Thought I'd just come in and share it. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just sitting here and uh, hanging out with you. I thought I'd hang out with you guys for a little while. It is, uh, let me get my weather up so I can share it with you guys. Yeah, good morning, Jen. It is currently uh, 6 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I have my phone set to Celsius. And it is um, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is raining. <laughs> it started raining yesterday and has not stopped. God bless it. Ugh. I'm not happy with the rain. But what are you going to do? Rain just creates migraines. Ugh. I don't like that. But it's okay. I am... Taking the braided cable kicked your butt at first. You goofed and pulled out six hours of work. Oh my, bless your heart. But then it clicked and you had no problems. Um, when I read the pattern, I got very confused. So I immediately referred to the tutorial. And then I totally got it. It, it made sense. Um, so the pattern doesn't always make sense to me. But the tutorial really helped. And... So I passed the first um, cable. Um, I've done the slip stitch round and um, working on that next single crochet round. So it'll be uh, pretty cool. I am working on an amigurumi at the moment. Um, it's right here. It doesn't look like much, but there it is. <laughs> um, there's the yarn actually, so right there. It's from a kit. I'm doing a series on amigurumi kits you purchase. Uh, I'll, I did a little video clip of it. You don't ha see it yet. I did a clip showing you what was in the kit. Um, I did a real miniature clip of me crocheting it. And then when I'm done, I'm going to give do another clip. And I'm going to put them all together in a video mm -hmm. and tell you what I think of it and how much yarn I have left and everything, what I think of the kit and show you how it turned out. This one happens to be um, frogs. Go figure. <laughs> but uh, this one happens to be frogs. So I'm working on this one at the moment. Yeah, it's hard for me to put that blanket down. I love working on that blanket. Um, it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful so oh and don't mind my this is the bag i've been keeping that kit in it's it comes with all these um 
yarns with it. So um, there's the white. So that, that's why that's sitting there and not my cardinal tree or anything. It's um, had that kid out. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. So I have been really, really enjoying it. 44 and cloudy. Your temperature is not too much different than mine. I have been uh, really enjoying that blanket. You're just, yeah, I would go with the tutorial. It's a lot better. You're on the Celtic Cable section now. It is a stunning blanket. My husband keeps nagging me. Are you going to work on the blanket? Are you going to work on the blanket? Um, he really loves it. Um, I don't blame him. Um, I told him I would make the blanket for him. He, uh, he just likes that. He, uh, <laughs> he knows it's for him. Um, one second. I'm, uh, texting someone. There we go. Oh, 15 degrees and snowing. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Amy T is close to mine, too. Dinky, you're warmer than us. Wow. Wow. You got rain coming this afternoon. Oh, bless you. But you have to go out. I'm sorry you have to go out in the rain. I have to go out in the rain, too, in a little while. Um, just before lunch, I have to run out to see the doctor. I have to get injections in my face. Uh, wish it was Botox, but it's not. Um... Oh, a 48 and raining. I'm in Virginia as well, Michelle. I am over there near Virginia Tech University. So that's where I am. There you are. Hello, Maureen. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. This was a surprise. I tell you, I just decided at the drop of a hat, you know what? I'm going to go live. I'm just sitting here, Christian, by myself. Let's go live. Well, oh. that works for me. Well, Michelle, you are very near Laura Douglas. She is on the coast as well. Yes. Good morning, Amy awesome. T and Laura. There's our crafty Amy and Michelle, also known as the Yarny Disaster. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Good morning, DK Jen. Isn't that a great name, Yarny Disaster? I, I know. love that. From. Oh, uh, Amy T, are you, are you talking about the um, On the Hill We're blanket? We're talking about On the braided, Hill. Okay, the braided cables kicked her butt at first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but she finally got it. She did. Okay, yes. good. And we there's Laura Douglas. I'm sorry. I was I, telling them. I'm just trying to catch my, up. No, you're fine. I was telling them about my progress on On the Hill because I don't have it in here. I wow. have it in the, in the living room where I was working on it. Um, I did not bring it in here, so I would work on the Amikarumi. Oh, kidoki. Gotcha. I'm, I'm, I'm really buckling down on it. Well, hello. Hello, Stelinia. How you doing? It's good to see you. Yes. Thank long, you so much for being with us. What's up, Froggy? Long <laughs> time no see. And hello, Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. How are you doing? Yes, oh, sweetheart. Thank you so much, you beautiful thank ladies you. of God. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're a blessing. What a wonderful thing to hear. Yes. Very, oh, very absolutely. Nice. Yes, it is Holy Wednesday. What yes, it is. Wednesday. Absolutely. Very excited. Oh. It, you know what? It is a wonderful day. And for Holy Week, for those of you that want to know, Holy Wednesday is a is the day a disciple named Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus for pieces of silver. Yep. So that yep. is Holy Wednesday. I had to lean forward yep. because uh, my camera was blocking what it was saying. Absolutely enjoy every day. Thank you yeah. so much for that stealing you. Um I love that. Don't let nothing or no one steal your joy. Amen, sweetie. Thank you so much, Amen. much for that. Kathy says she's just waking up. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. 
Uh, don't yes. let anybody steal your joy either still in you. You keep your joy as well. No, Holy Wednesday, darling. Holy Wednesday. This is Holy <laughs> Week. Bless your heart. It's Holy Week, sweetheart. Absolutely. Um, it's the run-up to Easter Sunday, so this is Holy Week. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I did a thing. I did a thing. What did you do? Uh, oh, you joined Maureen for the Be Still. Oh, I'm so glad you do. Well, thank you, Kathy. That's wonderful. Thank you, sweetheart. I love the devotionals. It's wonderful. And Be Still and Know is my favorite verse from the Bible. In case y'all didn't know, I thought I'd put that out there. Um, oh, you got yours from Hobby Lobby. Wonderful. I got mine from there as well. Oh, they, awesome. They have a yes, lot of fact, Yes, they do. And I enjoy their selections. In fact, this was a spur of the moment um, surprise for me from one of our um, fellow Zoomies and YouTubers, um, Leslie of the Corn. She said she happened to be in, in Hobby Lobby and knew that uh, I was uh, getting ready to choose a new devotional for the year. And folks, this book was in my cart. Isn't it great? Yes, so she knew exactly what I needed, and as soon as it showed up, it's like that's my devotional for the year. So oh, it's perfect. I'm glad that y'all are enjoying it. Um, yeah. It is a a wonderful little reminder that we all need to every single day take just a few minutes to be still and know. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yes. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you, sweetheart? I hope you're good. Yes. I mean, I'm fantastic today. Even if it's raining, I'm fantastic. Um, but what I was saying is I did a thing. Um, I try to do as many things as I can, even with the visual impairment. And I bought a decal. I have oh, not yes. done any of the transfers in since I've lost my eyesight. And, oh, honey, I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. We normally okay. get up and meet eat, um, and meet together for coffee at <laughs> right around 4 o'clock in the morning. So this isn't early for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was going to try to do um, iron on the decal to see if I could do it. Um, not that physically it would be hard, but getting it lined up straight, you know, with my visual impairment. And I am so excited she that did a I good job, guys. did it myself. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tracy, sweetie. Oh, Kathy. And I Kathy's am in, asking where you are. I am in southwestern Virginia. I am very close to Virginia Tech University. So I am, like, really, really excited. I did this all by myself. And it... <laughs> I know you don't be. I know it's not impressive. It is to me. <laughs> it is to me because it is centered. I'm not holding the shirt properly, but it's centered, and I actually put it on there by myself. And it says, "Don't worry, be happy." Isn't that cute? Um, literally, be happy. So yeah. I love that. I am so tickled that I did it all by myself. <laughs> yes, she did. Um. Because not everybody realizes I'm visually impaired. That's right. Um, I have no central vision. My central vision is completely gone. Um, it's black spots. And then I have other associated black spots in my vision. I have macular degeneration. And uh, it's, it's wet macular degeneration. That does make a difference whether it's wet and dry. Mm -hmm. um, but I do. I have a lot of my vision's gone. It's okay. But don't, you know, don't feel sorry for me. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I am literally considered blind. Um, but when I do something that I haven't been able to do since losing my eyesight, I get super excited. <laughs> and I am like super excited because it's straight. <clears throat> it's me. not cockeyed and it's centered. <laughs> <laughs> Those are little things that get me 
thrilled. <laughs> and I am yes. thrilled. They make your it. day. Oh, yes. The, the whole thing about the be hoppy is when I normally sign off, I always tell you to stay safe, be kind, and hoppy yarning. Yes. Because I'm a frog, it's hoppy yarning. So <laughs> I love that. I just think it's great. There's my Sherry Kay. Hello, Sherry Kay. We love you dearly, darling. Yeah, she's oh, off yeah. to work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I'm just very um, proud of myself because I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. it. It took quite a bit to get it lined up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Right. But I did, and I was proud. Um, my husband said, I knew you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ironing part was simple. But uh, when I was doing that, I was telling Sherry, this morning, Sherry K, because we met for coffee. You know, my old iron was a hand me down from my husband's grandmother, mm -hmm. my old one. And uh, it was silver and had a black handle and this big, thick cord that come out of it. And, yes. you know, heavy iron. It was an yes. iron, you know, mm -hmm. iron. And, uh, it had burned up and it needed to be tossed. And so it, it was gone because it wasn't heating properly and the cord was frayed and all that. Yeah. So Joey purchased me a new iron, a new black and decker iron. And it doesn't have all the bells and whistles because we don't need that. <coughs> he did get me a new iron. And I told Sherry, I said, you know, it's funny. You know, when I went to pull it out of the box, I went to pull it out of the box <laughs> and it went, Phew. Yep. I was like, Oh, it doesn't weigh anything. Mm -mm. I can hold it on nope. my finger. They're so light. Yes, they are. And if you think it's that's like light, you ought to get one of those little travel irons that's also a steamer, you know? Wow. I mean, they're, they're nothing. I am not kidding you. Of course, I all of it's plastic it. now, except for the plate. Yeah. But... There's nothing yeah. to them anymore. Mm -hmm. It is all pla it's all plastic, except the the metal plate. Mm -hmm. But I was so shocked. I mean, I was ready to go to have it, <laughs> and there was <laughs> nothing. Nothing to it. there. See, I never. Yeah, I never picked up the box. Mm -hmm. He had set the box down where where I iron it. I iron on top of my washing machine, and. I just literally reached in. I never moved the box. I <laughs> opened the lid, reached in to heft it out, and it weighs nothing. Oh, I felt sheepish. Oh, my goodness. It was so funny. Yep. If he could have seen me do that, he would have laughed. <laughs> it's so nice to have such a super light iron nowadays. Having mm -hmm. not known that they were that light. So yeah. I was a hilarious picture just trying to heft that iron and boom, boom. I had no clue. <laughs> I had no clue. So for future reference, guys, you cannot use the new irons as weapons. No. <laughs> they don't weigh nothing. It, 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 my soda can weighs more than the new iron. <laughs> it weighs more than the iron does. I mean, seriously. That's funny. I, I couldn't, even with water in it. Mm -hmm. all hold the water, but right. Oh my goodness, it was so funny. I just got the biggest laugh out of it. I, I laughed at myself when I went to heft it out of there and nearly threw it across the room. <laughs> I told Joey about that. He goes, Oh, yeah, babe. He said, When he picked up the box, he thought the box was empty. <laughs> he did. He thought the box was empty. I said, I had no idea. He said, They're all like that. Yep, they sure are. They're all super light. I had no clue. Oh, man, what our mothers wouldn't have done for a super light iron like that. Isn't years that ago. the truth? Yes. I mean, even 50 years ago, it was just, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And yes, Kathy, I do all things through Christ. That's right. Uh, it's, oh, it's up, up by his grace. I'm here. It's wonderful. Yeah. Even just, simple little things like centering a sticker on a t-shirt and to be visually yes. impaired and that's absolutely correct you absolutely know? i mean 
God it, gives it, us it, the ability to do things with no matter what the disability is. Yes, it's but by him. I mean, you know, I, I next year I will have been crocheting for 50 years. Oh, wow. I, I you know, I just realized that this morning. <laughs> I'm like, you know, next year it's 50 years. Wow. You know, and I, I look at my work and I'm going, you I'm know, and I, well, I'm the math. it's too early. <laughs> I'm, I'm like feeling it and I'm going, wow, you know. I was able to continue Christian with his grace. Mm -hmm. And that's what's amazing. It is. It's yeah. awesome. And, you know, it shows you what an awesome God we have. It, it just, right. you know, I was watching the replay of Sarah Satch's live. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about how a lot of people she knows of um, who've been crocheting mm -hmm. for years consider themselves experts. And I'm listening to her and I'm going, I'm not an expert, you know, nope. I might be advanced, but I'm still learning. Right. That's when she hit the, the hit right into it. She said, I've been crocheting since I was young, but I'm still learning. And I'm going, amen. There you go. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I still learn every day, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a good thing. I, I, enjoy the fact that I learn every day. There's always something new that can be learned. And that's it's right. a good thing. You know, I don't ever consider myself an expert in any way. Um, I do, I consider myself advanced because I could do all the stitches and everything and I can work through it, but I still have questions. I still learn. I still seek out to learn. And I mm -hmm. do learn every day. Well, I think that's what's so cool about all the different content creators now out here that have been able to um, come on, share their crochet, knitting. Uh, I don't care what craft it is or yeah. if you just want to share knowledge. Yeah. Um, we all have a different way of doing things. And like I used to tell my students um when i would present a new topic to them in class mm -hmm. i would say now there's more than one way to skin a rabbit yes and my way may not um is not the only way it is just the way that i have found number one that i know is successful number two that i feel like is the best path for you to start on to learn this new idea and then we can branch out from there yeah uh, you know i mean because we all learn things in a different way and that's the reason why i love uh, our yarny community because yeah. we all can sit down and say all right we're going to teach you how to crochet but froggy is a knife holder Yep. And I'm a pencil holder. So right there, folks, we have two techniques for you to choose from. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. then. Uh, pencil. Yes. Mm -hmm. pencil. And then pencil. there is the, are you going to teach uh, someone to use the over or the under technique whenever they're With the starting to, to learn their stitches? Again, there's nothing wrong with either way. It's just your perspective. Yes. And it's anything that you do. You know, many people love to crochet a, t a hat or prefer to crochet a hat from the top down. Yes. Many just say, uh -uh, I'm going to start at the bottom and work up. Some folks even prefer, I mean, I don't remember who she is right now off the top of my head. But um, a couple of years ago, um, she took hats that some folks had made. Uh, let's just say she could take one of mine that's a bottom up and she showed how you could take that same exact pattern and make it a in a rectangular shape and then sew it up with just one seam and you're done. Yep. And I was like, what? Yes. I mean, it blew me away. I mean, it honestly did. But what a cool idea, especially when you're teaching someone how to, let's say, make a hat mm -hmm. if they can't 
get that round idea going in their heads, then teach them how to do it flat and make one seam, gather at the top, and you're done. And they've got exactly. a hat. I love so, that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love that about the I love that about this craft. Mm -hmm. so, um, I love it about all crafts, really, because there's so many different That's right. ways do it you know you don't have to be just a knife holder you don't no. have to be a pencil holder you know you can hold it many different ways some people even hold it like this yes neither pencil nor knife no -uh. um, you can hold your hook however you want to hold it hold it the way you want to hold it you know it's all up to you right you know, just like the yarns yarn preferences you mm -hmm. can use any yarn you want i am not a yarn snob I have the most expensive yarn in the world and I have the cheapest yarn in the world from the dollar yep. store. <laughs> yeah. I have a $300 hank of yarn and I have a dollar hank of yarn. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter to me. You know, I love oh. all yarns. You know, I love the fact that you can make anything, right. literally anything from yarn. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the sky's the limit. And I That's love right. to see the creativity of people, you know, even the ones that do the free form crochet. That amazes me. I know. Isn't that crazy? That I is take just the ones that amaze, that amaze me. And that's playing with that uh, novelty yarn. Some of yeah. the things that they can come up with. I'm like, there is no way, number one, oh, yeah. that I would even pick that up. But it really is a lot of fun mm -hmm. to watch what people do with them, you know, oh, gosh, it's great. and the big old furry yarns, guys, I wow. had, I had a hard enough time, <laughs> uh, and I've only bought one, and I'm not doing it again, the um, scrubby yarn, that stuff, number one, hurt my hand as it was, you know, going through, number two, I would make a stitch, you know, complete one round, because I was making um scrubbies for the sink i'd make one round and when i get ready to make the next one it's like where is the stitch i couldn't find the blasted thing and then i just said all right i'm getting no. through this one and everybody better enjoy it because i'm not making this one again not using this yarn again let me tell you that i went back to using my cotton so <laughs> i agree with you it you know, is normally when I yes you be careful sherry honey but, you know, when I crochet, I, I tension the yarn through yes. my fingers. I like the that. same thing. Yep, me too. And, and then with the scrubby yarn, as it's feeding through the fingers, oh, my mm -hmm. gosh, it rubbed my hand raw. Yes. And I, I started having to just hold it like this. Right. Um, it was horrible. Yep. I did it just to get through the two skeins I had. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, there are folks out there that have made beautiful things with them and i'm like boy better you than me oh yeah they do um now i did oh. post this because it was mm -hmm. easier for me because i couldn't feel right that i did post stitches with that michelle said that she used the scrubby and the cotton together and it made it a bit easier well you know what That's nice. i might try that michelle that's a very good idea i hadn't ever thought about that now well, i use there. Just learn something new. There you go. Isn't that now awesome? I, now, I like the Scrubby Sparkle. I don't like either one of them. I like Scrubby Sparkle because it's not as rough on my hands. Mm. And oh, okay. I like, okay. I like to make a dishcloth, and I work three quarters of the way up with cotton. Uh -huh. And then the last quarter of it, I'll put the Scrubby Sparkle. Right. And then I've got the Scrubby on my um, dishcloth. Right. Um, already. So when I'm washing dishes, because I have to hand wash, I've got a scrubby right. part already on my dishcloth. <gasps> so I'd say um, two thirds of my dishcloths in there have, um, I don't know, about an inch or more, mm -hmm. inch and a half of scrubby on them already. It well, makes it a good idea, too. too. <laughs> just makes it easier for me. So hopefully, I just right. taught well, somebody something. Right. Well, I love what Michelle said. You know, that would be a, a nice like thing that. to to try because then you don't have to worry which end you're scrubbing with. You know, it's yeah. all there together. That <laughs> I, I'm actually considering, you know, it's right back yeah. to the going, hmm, 
I might make that cotton. With I know there are different types of scrubbies out there. Some uh, yarns, the scrubby yarns are not as harsh yes. as others, but I mean, I must have got the world's worst to start with or to try because it definitely has turned me off, but I might yeah. go and pick up just one more, more Michelle. Excuse me. I might go pick up just one more and mix it in with some uh, kitchen cotton and just see how well it does. Well, I bought the Red Heart one. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what people say. I still like Red Heart. Oh, that's what I was raised on. I mean, I can't tell you that's all we bought. how many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Well, that's all I, I had access to, you know. I mean, Red yeah. Heart's what I had when I first started learning. Red Heart and Wintook. Yeah. And people are like, Wintook? What's Wintook? Well, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, we were talking the other day about old yarn companies. And I promise you, I, I may be saying it wrong, folks, but those of you that um, <clears throat> are as old as I am, um, you might remember, wasn't there a brand that was like Woolworth? Yeah. I mean, now I know that that is a drugstore, but folks, they had their yarn cup. They had their yarn too. Okay, that that's what I thought. Um, yeah, see, like Amy P says most of hers is um, Red Heart. Uh, yarn Bee Scrubology. Yeah, no, the big, um, puffy one. Yes, that's easy to use on the hands. Yes, that that one. Now, I haven't mm -hmm. picked it up because, like mm -hmm. I said, I'm just turned off by anything that says scrub on it. Um, the Scrubology, <coughs> is not, it's a tube and it's uh -huh. not, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Now, I've used that. Okay. Yeah, and, and Amy T, most years is Red Heart. Yeah, Red Heart is a good staple. Um, mm -hmm. Wide range of colors. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, and it is nylon. Mm-hmm. Yep, I I love Ben Franklin. Yes, oh Amy God. T. There ben you Franklin go. There's my girl. Mm-hmm. Ben Franklin. went to Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin's and Gibson's and Woolworth. Uh, Woolworth's and Ben Franklin. Oh, my gosh. I loved it. Yep. That was where I always, I got so excited when my grandma or my Oma used to take me. Oh my gosh, I got mm -hmm. excited. Yep. Yeah. I was either getting a toy or I was getting yarn. <laughs> I was one of those weird kids. So see, for me, <laughs> for me, me. it was Barbies or yarn. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, that's just what I did. Right. I, I wasn't fashionable. I didn't care what other people did. That's just what I did. You know, mm -hmm. even, I crocheted all the way through my teens, um, crocheted stuff for my friends. You know, they liked what I made. Right. You know, I was just stuff I did. And I made money at what I made, too. Oh, I loved it. Yep. I'm not big on um, peaches and cream or sugar and cream either. I don't really buy them anymore. I'm only using what's in my stash. Right. Now, now I stick to um, I love this cotton and the Walmart cotton. Yep. That's pretty much what I stick to. Just because it's um, so much softer. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just it really is softer. Right. I feel it feels much better in my hands and it's not as splitty. Right. The others. And so that's why I use that. Oh, and the um, other one, the Crafter's Secret one from uh, Hobby Lobby. I like that one, too. Uh, yeah, Crafter's Secret. Yes, yes. I, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Me, too, Amy. Ben Franklin's, Woolworth, and Gibson's. See, I Those didn't were the stores that were close to me. You didn't have a Gibson? <laughs> no, I didn't have a Gibson. Do you know, it wasn't until 2005 or 2006 before I went to a, a local yarn store. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I always went to the big box stores. And mm -hmm. all that. Um, the last time I, was, I shopped at Big Franklin was probably 1995, 96. 
um, because that's when uh, they were closing it down. Mm -hmm. I was heartbroken that they were closing it down. Right. And I loved Ben Franklin. Yeah. It was just everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had everything. And I loved that y'all are going to think I'm weird. I loved the smell of Ben Franklin because it <laughs> smelled like corn. Oh. <laughs> My my Ben Franklin smelled like yarn. Mm -hmm. There was so much yarn in there. There was um, one whole entire length of the store. That whole wall was nothing but yarn on this right side. And right. then there was fabric and thinner and stuff. Um, but when you walked in, it just smelled like yarn. Right. And I loved that. Oh, wow. Oh, that's okay, Kathy. Piggly Wiggly. Oh, you're a late bloomer. Wow, honey. Okay. There's no late bloomers around here. That's okay. You know what? I don't care if you just started crocheting this morning. Doesn't bother me. I just yeah. love the fact that you're crocheting. You know, my my name on YouTube is Froggy Winna Knitting. It, it, that's because when I started to knit, my dad called me that. I collect frogs. Uh -huh. And my yes, dad called right. me that. And he said, oh, look, Froggy went in knitting. And so that's why I'm dubbed that. But I crochet more than I knit. Mm -hmm. But I do do both. But yeah, it's just, that was my dad called me that. Oh, look, Froggy went in knitting. <laughs> well, I got, I still got a huge coloring pin set from Woolworths from their closing down sale. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh my I goodness, Jennifer. They had a Woolworths too. That's awesome. That's awesome. I know. My grandmother used to call Woolworths the five and nine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, hey, Terry. Yes, I know. I just sent you a text. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Good morning, Terry. You are up really early. I know. She was up early yesterday, too. You are How are you doing this morning, Sweetie P? Early. Oh, my goodness. I hope you're feeling okay being up so early. Bless your heart. This is super early for her. Goodness gracious. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she's up so early. For those of y'all that don't know, it is 4, 4.37 in the morning for Carrie. I know. Oh, okay. Every day. All right. That's fine. That's what she told me. Oh, that's so early. Well, you got up at four o'clock this morning. Well, I, I was up at three. Yeah. Oh, at three. Yeah. So. I be, I get up between three and four. Mm -hmm. yeah, in that ballpark. But today was up at three. Hey, how are you doing, Sandra? Hello, Sandra. How are you today, sweet pea? Thank you for joining us. I'm just so glad that you were up with us. I yes, hope you have thank a you so much. Day. No, she's in Washington State. But still along the coast there, so you're right. that In that yes. time zone. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I am on the eastern seaboard. Oh, I do want to remind everybody to please pray for Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, um, yes. After My the grid collapse. So please play, pray for Baltimore. Yes. Um, I am originally from Maryland, so definitely pray for them. I did not have any family there, but I would like you guys to pray for Baltimore. That is a devastating uh, accident. <laughs> Sandra says it's flipping early. <laughs> it is, Sandra. It is. It is. It is. I just thought I'd pop <laughs> on and say hello to everybody that's up early. Right. Because there are some early risers. There are. Oh, that's wonderful, Kathy. That's remarkable. So do you call him this early in the morning, Kathy? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> he might not. Did you, Jen? It, it was horrible seeing it. I know. It really was. I know. Wayne called his uh, son because... Um, mm -hmm. He lives up in that area and has to travel that bridge every day to and from work. Oh, and so yeah. yesterday morning, the first thing he did was call to 
make sure our Michael was okay. And he said, yes, I'm in Alabama right now. I said, okay, that's fine. Oh, you know, just, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. So. Now we all checked and made sure there was no family around the area <laughs> and there was, there was no family around Baltimore at the time. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing. Ah, you're a native Texan. Oh, yay. Kathy. The you one just, we love each other. You just, just got the Maureen there. She loves mm -hmm. that. It was your news yesterday. Oh, Tracy oh. said it was on her news yesterday. Yeah. And you oh. know, I really loved reading about their mayor there because, you know, everybody is focusing on the bridge. I mean, it seemed like a lot of the uh, reporters when he got up to, you know, talk about what they were doing yeah. and uh, that kind of thing. And several of the reporters were talking about when will the bridge back up, be back up or when are you going to start construction on them? And they showed him just stopping them in their tracks and yes. says, you know what? The bridge is not the focus. The bridge, no. I mean, the families that we are still trying to recover. Um, you know, those are the ones that we need to be, yeah. be thinking about right now. It says that bridge is, is nothing. You know, we can rebuild that, but you can't rebuild lives. No. And I just thought oh, he was focused. He was focused on the rescue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was, Fantastic. Yeah, I know. I That was what we were all wondering was how hard they hit that uh, column to make it collapse. Well, you know, stop and think about it. Unbelievable. That barge is what it looked like as close as it was to the bridge when it lost all of its electrical. Uh, um, it still had momentum going forward. It so it was still at whatever speed, pretty much, you know, give or take maybe five knots. That, that might be too, too much. Let's say two or three knots. It hadn't slowed down any. I mean, just because its engines and stuff died didn't mean that it immediately came to a stop. No, it's still no. moving forward. <laughs> and the other thing is you've got to consider the age of that bridge when it was built. Um, in the 70s. In the 70s. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. and when you stop and think about it, water is the worst dissolver in the world. I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, you know that yourself. You can take a pot that's burnt and pour water in it and let it sit there and soak. And it's going to, you know, given enough time, it's going to loosen whatever's there. So. Well, they also, not only do you have the momentum of the ship still coming, mm -hmm. where, where they're at, the water is turbulent. Yes. You have that the was current, mm -hmm. and, and then you have the turbulence of the water because it's coming in. You have the ocean. Right. You have the Chesapeake Bay. Um, the water is very turbulent there because it's coming into a harbor. So that's mm -hmm. also forcing it forward. Right. And it just um it is an accident it was not done on purpose mm -mm. no no i feel sorry for everyone involved in that yeah. i know um my husband and i were you know in prayer multiple times over this it was just mm -hmm. horrible yeah and i i know that the people on the ship had to feel horrible oh you happened. know they did yes you know, so far they confirmed that there were six people that had perished yeah um, and they are they did uh, cease um, the search efforts, and now they're in recovery mode um, mm -hmm. for the families. Right. It is just horrible. Yeah. The whole situation. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine. I really can't imagine now. Seeing the bridge collapse, I've been across that bridge more. I can't even tell you how many times. So many times. Um, yeah. Because my own mom, I my German grandmother lived in Baltimore and I've been across that bridge so many times in my life. And I, I couldn't believe it collapsed. It just blew my mind. It was right. unbelievable to see that. But my heart went out to all of them, to all the families affected, to the city that's affected and to all the uh, first responders because mm -hmm. they're be affected as well. Oh my goodness. Michelle <laughs> said she just went over that bridge last week. Yes, Michelle, it's horrible. 
And mm -hmm. I know it has to really, you know, even anybody that's been across the bridge, it has to affect them. Right. You right. Know. And also the way the bridge is made um, would affect the way uh, it had collapsed because there is a large section in the middle of the trestles that is extra wide and tall to allow ships to go underneath it mm -hmm. because it is opening of a harbor. Right. Um, so that also was in effect. So there'll be an investigation into the engineering of the bridge, obviously. Um, obviously, um, they were doing maintenance of it. There is always routine maintenance on every bridge in the United yep. States. Yep. So don't think there was something wrong with it. No. But we'll go over the maintenance records of the bridge um, to see if there was anything wrong. They're going to go over everything about the ship hitting the bridge um they do yeah. have a bit video evidence because there were cameras all around the harbor yeah uh, focused on the bridge so they do have video evidence you know you've seen the video of the bridge collapsing mm -hmm. this is going to be a very long investigation um they're going to come oh, yeah. to the bottom you know but this is it's going to be a while before it's replaced because they have to do the investigation um, they have to remove all the debris. Yep. They have to salvage all the vehicles yep. out of the water, you know, before they can even begin. And they have to have another bridge drawn up, engineered to drawn up before they can even build one. Yeah. Yes. yes. Me that too, Amy T. I hate it when yeah. I have to go over a bridge. I hate it when I have to go over uh, overpasses, you know, um, uh, like with traffic underneath me that mm. yeah now that bridge never yeah. scared me um there's a bridge further down in maryland called solomon's island bridge it scares me yes because it goes up at a big arc and mm -hmm. down to allow sailboats to go under it with their big tall masts yeah it scares me but that there other are bridge several is like that around houston, houston. Mm -hmm. so when you get one, closer to the beach, yeah. Pasadena, all in through there. The oh. ones that allow sailboats to go under them, those scare me. Mm -hmm. No other bridges scare me as much as that because they will go up really, really yes. high. Mm. And they're um, arced. <laughs> That's the other thing I don't like. Oh, They're arced a lot. Now, this one was arced, but nowhere near like mm -mm. A, no. a bridge for sailboats. No, mm -mm. those scare me though. Mm -mm. Yeah. No I've one my son goes across it all the time. My siblings go across mm -hmm. that Solomon's Bridge. That bridge scares me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I think when bridges have to be that that tall, mm -hmm. that they just ought to make them draw bridges. That's that's just my personal opinion. That would make me happy. Uh huh. Good that morning, Dean. Hey, T, my you. goodness, girlfriend. Where have you been? I have not seen you in forever, and I mean forever. We haven't seen her in a while, too. How are you doing, no. Jeannie Kate? I'm glad yeah, you're here with us this morning, sweetie. I just, oh, I don't like them big tall bridges like that. No, 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 no. No. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> It is good to see you guys. Yes. Swing bridges. Yeah. Yes. I like those too. I'm okay with that. The swing bridge is fine. Draw bridge is fine. But not them other bridges. No. Nope. 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 Guess I, what? I do Query with says, what, sweetie? What? Winamucca. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for it. To let's it. hope it hasn't already gone to that this morning. Is it Winnemucca? That cracks me up. I know. Isn't it cool? That always cracks me up. It's way better than any other word. I will say that. Oh, I know. I know. That is funny. Winnemucca. It is so good to see you guys, though. I hope everyone's gotten their coffee or their tea. <gasps> Congratulations, Carrie. Carrie. That ought to... Oh. 
That's wonderful. Incentive, 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 incentive. Oh, Carrie, I am so proud of you, girlfriend. That's a joy. Yes, you need straws to say Winnemucca. That is I just super that. awesome, Carrie. That's a joy. Yes. Wow. That is wonderful, Carrie. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm jealous. I need to do that. Oh, my. I need to know which one that is. Yeah. Which bridge, uh, DK Jan? Isn't that wonderful, everybody? That yes, is please. Congratulate, Carrie. I am so excited for her. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I am super excited for you. Wow. So proud, too. I'm, I'm jealous, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, too. I would love to lose six pounds. I would, too. I'd like to lose it right here and right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here, right here. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I want six pounds. Like, like you were pointing, six pounds in each area. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm pointing <laughs> to. I'm like, both thighs, the belly, both arms, the rear. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy for you, Carrie. That is fantastic. Keep up it's the It's all them extra steps. Yep. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. Keep yeah. up the momentum. That is so good. I know. Uh, we will keep you in prayer that it will continue to happen. That's right. That's good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm just, ah, that's awesome, awesome news. Mm -hmm. Made my day, Carrie. Made my day. Yes. That is a joy to behold. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, sweetheart. You are very welcome, sweetie. That is fantastic. Oh, that's so good news. Good news. I know. Oh. I'm almost in tears for her. That is such a good, it's a good thing. It's good news today. Yes. It's a good I'm day. I'm glad you came in here to share it with everyone, Carrie. It's a good day. It's a wonderful day. That's lovely. I love it. That even oh. makes me okay with the raid. <laughs> I mean, seriously. That's wonderful. I'm okay with the rain now. I hate mm -hmm. the rain, but I'm okay with the rain. <laughs> well, you hate the rain right now because I think your part of the country's had it more than anybody. I've had a lot. I mean, of you rain. just you just keep seem to keep sucking it over there. You know, you're not letting the rest of us have any of it. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> you can and have Sherry it. and Amy, they are keeping all, all, the, all snow. the snow. I know they're not sharing mm. it either. Oh, see, Sherry, if she's not hogging all the rain, I mean, hogging all the snow, now she's taking the rain, too. Oh, mercy. Well, the rain will help get rid of some of her snow. I just hope her temperature doesn't drop. Because oh, then yeah. it would, I don't that like would be ice. Bad. No. Yeah, I don't like um, ice. Mm -mm. Now, Tracy, Tracy does have to avoid the bridges. Yeah. I'd much rather take the scenic route, let me tell you. I mean, mm. well, where I'm at now, we don't have that many bridges. We have a lot of tunnels. And oh, I can't take that either. No, 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 no. They're creepy. No, no. Mm hmm They're very creepy. You go yep. into some tunnels, you can't see the light at the other end for a while. I know. Hey, Paula. Good morning, Paula. How are you? Yeah, because I'm in the mountains now, and we have tunnels mm -hmm. that go through the mountains. Oh, no, there's a bridge in Japan I will never go across. <laughs> exactly. <coughs> no, there's a bridge in Japan. There's a wall, a footbridge in Japan that's clear. Yes, I've heard of that. No, I won't do that either. I wouldn't do that. I, can, I don't do heights, so I mm -mm. couldn't do that footbridge. And Sherry loves tunnels. <laughs> no, no, Some no, of them no. are creepy. Some of them are creepy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do some of them. Yep. No. Now, they do do tunnel maintenance just like they do bridge maintenance. Yeah. They do tunnel maintenance, which is cool. 
I mean, I'm glad they do maintenance on them, but yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of tunnels through here. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I've been what through is, a couple of them. No, no. What's bad, though, is um, we have tunnels for trains, too. Mm -hmm. um, one is walking distance, really, from my house. Um, there's two tunnels for trains right down here. And uh, you get dumb kids that go walking the rails in the tunnels. Oh, that's the dumbest thing I have ever heard of. Just like when the kids were walking the train trestles here. Don't walk train oh, tunnels. Oh my god. Don't walk through train tunnels. No. Nope. That's stupid. Yeah, because no. those tunnels are just wide enough for the train to go through. They're just wide enough for the train. Yes. Do not walk a train trestle. There's nowhere to go. Train trestle is like a bridge. And it's just for the train. There's mm -hmm. nowhere to go. Mm -mm. But, but off. Yeah. <laughs> and what's underneath it could be water or it could be a gully. And yeah. rock down below. But no, there's a lot of people that do that. It, usually it's teenagers that will do it. And they're stupid. Right. Yeah, we've had a lot of kids, um, but God bless them, that have been hurt by doing it. Yeah. I... Mm don't understand it it's crazy yeah we have a um, a rail yard in roanoke mm -hmm. yeah you'd go under the trestle mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fine going under it but don't you know no oh, no 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 you people oh no but there's plenty of track you can walk next to lots of tracks mm -hmm. around to walk next to but don't do the other Mm -mm. No, that's my PSA. Don't walk, don't walk on train tracks. The trains do not stop on a dime. It takes them up to five miles to stop. Yep. Just depends on how fast they're going. Mm-hmm. And it's very scary. Yeah. Well, we were out um, St. Patty's weekend. We'd gone down to Jensen Beach, you know, because I kept trying to tell Wayne, you're not going to find a park spot to this one restaurant he wanted to go to around lunchtime and i didn't realize i mean every time we've gone down there we've gone over these railroad tracks yeah and as many times as we've been down there the last couple of years i never saw this sign off to the side of the railroad track that said caution now you know of course it's not in a yellow sign at all it's just a white sign no, off the no. side. It says, caution, trains may travel through here at speeds up to 80 miles an hour. And I'm sitting there reading that thing, and I was like, what? Yeah. Now, folks, this is almost like downtown, all right? This train track is going through there. And sure enough, we are driving around trying to find um, a parking spot to this restaurant. And so we're making like our third around the block, so to speak. And we widen it to like two or three extra blocks as blocks. And we're coming down the side street where this train is going through. And I am not kidding you. It's those bullet trains and shoo, yes, that puppy went by. And I was like, Oh my word. It is going probably 80 miles an hour. So, yeah, so stop and think about a train that is traveling 80 miles an hour and has to hit the brakes. And it takes them about five miles to stop. I bet so. Well, yeah. congratulations, Paula. She's been a member for two months. That's Thank awesome. You, Paula. Awesome. Hey, hey, Nami G. Oh, going under one and hearing how loud the train would be. Ugh. It wouldn't be fun. They are very loud. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Good morning, Nami G. I've missed you, sweet pea. I hope you're doing good this morning, Nami. Yes. I do. I hope you're well, sweetheart. Yeah, if not longer. Oh, that's right, if not longer, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And you have to consider the length of the train as well. Right. You well, do. this one wasn't very long. I think it had, like, probably less than, you know, 10 cars from the front to the back but man that puppy just shoo, and it was gone oh yeah they do fly they fly wow. here 
not all of our crossings have bars. Oh, congratulations, Carrie. 28, 28 months. Eight months. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Love you for that. That's awesome. Um, not all of our crossings have crossbars, but they have signs, you know, mm -hmm. but they don't have all, don't all have crossbars. Yeah. And you got to stop before you get, you know, when you get there, you got to stop and you got to look both ways because mm -hmm. yeah. they are coming. And yeah. oh, it's very scary. Good morning, Connie. Yes, we are, Connie. How are you, sweetheart? We are on a little bit early. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to pop on and say good morning to everyone. Um, that's pretty much all it was. I'm in a good mood today and just wanted to pop on and say good morning. Oh wow. my goodness, Paula says where she, where I grew up, where I grow, we have trains that go back out of the house. My house will shake. Okay. They must run behind her house. Wow. Mm -hmm, yeah. Going to graces. I hear them um, when they blow their whistle because when they go through the crossings that don't have the arm bars, they blow their whistles. Oh, yeah. And uh, I hear them really well. Yes, it is, Kathy. Very much so. I hear them all the time. Every evening and every morning and midday. And you can hear them coming very well. So. But it is wonderful to have spent an hour with you guys this morning. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. Amen. I do hope that you guys will join Carrie later on today. And uh, I will see you guys on the YouTube streets. You have full block barriers that come. We have, we have barriers, but not on everyone. Yeah. Out in the country yeah. or, um, you know, off the main roads, so to speak, if, a, if a, a county road, I mean, I'm not kidding you, even dirt roads, at least ours have the big flashing lights on them. And mm -hmm. like you said, the trains will start a certain distance away. They'll start blowing their horns to let you know they that will. they're coming through. Yeah. Yeah, they will. But n not everyone um, has them yeah, anymore. Not everyone. It's in a rural area. Mm -hmm. If it's a main yeah. drag, they have the bars and the flashing mm -hmm. lights. Yeah. So. Yeah. We love you guys. Um, stay safe, be kind to one another. And, and please uh, remember, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know. Could be your light that they need to see. You've been a wonderful light for us this morning. We thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We love you all. Bless you guys. Bye now. Bye.